Razer or any make of laptop tech support guide by iDatus. Now this is episode 2 of understanding Intel i7 CPUs for any laptop that's 8th, 9th and 10th generation. This is about the Power Boost timer. Now Power Boost is anything above the working CPU wattage of 45 watts. To enable Power Boost you need software from the manufacturer such as Razer Synapse and Citadel to Gay Mode. Now this timer was news to me, I thought Power Boost stayed on until a thermal event occurred. Now don't confuse Power Boost with Turbo Power. Power Boost is electricity watts. Turbo Power is a frequency increase. I'm going to show you how to test this boost timer using Throttle Stop. First of all, set all your cores to 39, and we're going to not change any of the CPU voltages, leave them all as factory defaults. And this is to kind of get our initial bench. Now, I'm not going to read out all those things that just popped up on the screen. You can read them while we're actually running the test, and they'll take about two minutes. I'm not going to character from episode one. Oh, yeah, a bit annoying now. Just uh, hold on a minute while I sort him out. Spreadsheet table there, things you can plot when you're doing this test yourself, and there's the results underneath. Now, before you do the next one, just make sure you clear everything. Leave it all at 39 again, but this is time we're going to use those offset voltages, and that should be pretty good for anybody. Now, for the eagle eyed amongst you, you will notice that we haven't got initial limit reasons pop up. I'm only leaving it to run until we actually get the PL1 and EDP other. And there's your PL1 EDP other. That's all you want to see in there. As you can see, it's a lot better just by changing the voltage. Here are the results for the benchmark that was just done. What you want to do after this is you want to carry on repeating the test, setting all the cores to 38, 37, 36, etc. And get to the stage where you're happy that the boost time lasts as long as you require it for. And let's have a quick compare that if you leave all the cores to 39 and do nothing other than change the voltages, what benefits do you get? We got 14 seconds faster to complete the benchmark with 13 watts less power usage, and it actually boosted for 13 seconds longer. And when it went down to 45 watts, because we'd had an actually hit high temperatures and stuff, it continued at a 400 megahertz faster when the power boost ended. Power boosted for 17 seconds if you hit 75 watts. 
And as you can see, you go all the way up there. You can actually keep the power boosted for 71 seconds if you go only up to 49 watts. This example was used in Throttle Stop Benchmark. Now, what to take from my tech guide? If your application is bursted, then use turbo power. If your application is full on power hungry, like a game or something, then steady lower frequency would be better. Well, in episode three, I'm going to show you other monitoring tools and another CPU benchmarker. Until we get the monitoring and benchmark tools set up correctly, you can't move her on with our controlling of the i7 CPU and making our apps run better, cooler, and more efficient. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, questions. Bye for now.